Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Tessie's World. So I want to start off by first saying happy, happy, happy welcome November, right? We have entered a new month yesterday. Yesterday we entered a new month and um, I hope that everybody has their goal list written down for this month. I hope you have broken it down into your weekly, broken it down into your daily and I hope that you know and the affirmation and the mantra that you need to know and that you need to believe in this month is that you are enough and you are capable of doing everything that needs to be done, right? So um, I wanted to say that. I also want to say happy self-care Saturday. So, um, you know, self-care Saturday. It's time to focus on yourself. Do things for you. Do what you need to do. And don't worry about nobody else, right? Excuse me, right? That's what we do. Self-care Saturday, we go out. We have brunch maybe by ourselves. We hit a movie by ourselves. We maybe cook our favorite meal. We take a bubble bath. We read a book. We have a glass of wine at 9 a.m. We do whatever we want on self-care Saturdays because it is our day and we get to do what we want, right? Right. All right, guys. So I want to go ahead and get into this topic really quick. Um, you see what the title of this video is what is holding you back now what I mean by that is what is holding you back from becoming or improving to be the person and the being that you desire and so badly want to be right and um I think that this is a really great topic I think that this is a topic that will have multiple multiple videos um because it is a variety of things that holds people back, you know? Some of the things at the top of my head that I can think of is maybe procrastination, laziness, um, being afraid, maybe uh, not knowing how you will be able to move, shake, and deal with being in new, uncomfortable settings, emotions, uh, environments, and feelings. Um, also maybe not believing that you deserve to be the person you want to be. Um, I said laziness and why I say laziness is because it's hard work, you know, just like healing. It's super hard work. And if you are not going to be dedicated and focused, then it's not going to, it's not going to happen for you. People have to put in years of work to become that person that they love in the mirror it's not a joke. Some of us look in the mirror and we may like the way we look, but we can't once it once we look in the mirror past a few seconds, we cannot identify, we cannot accept, we cannot deal with what is staring us back. And I don't mean reflection as in physical. I mean what's staring back at us in a soul um in a soul image. If you can look in the mirror longer than just focusing at your appearance, um, try it out and let me try it out and let me know how it feels. Do you get anxiety? Um, do you feel calmness? Um, what else? Yeah, I would just say anxiety and calmness. I can't think of another one is it's, it's either you're going to be super anxiety feel, you know, you can't deal um, you have to blink and look away. You have to make yourself think about something else. Or you're just going to be like, okay, I can breathe. You you get what I'm saying? Um, it is hard work to improve. And I think that's, that's why a lot of us sometimes just stay where we are. Because we say, I'm not doing that bad. Or we say, uh, I got time. Which we do. But any small, 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 small effort and change will make a big change at the end of the day. So it's not a rush thing to, in a way, become whole and improve. But let me tell you this, every day that you live, every hour that you breathe, you always want to keep improving. I don't know about other people, but I, for one, know that I'm going to be a student of life for the rest of my life. I love to learn, whether that be learning from a book standpoint, whether that be learning from experiences, whether that be learning from goddamn television, you know, podcasts, um, seminar. There are so many knowledgeable, I wanted to say, or teachable, sorry, sorry, teachable um 
forms out here that you can't just simply say that you're going to learn from a book. You can learn from your friendship. You can learn from lack thereof a friendship. You can learn from a relationship. You can learn from lack thereof. You know what I mean? You can learn from family. You can learn from lack. You can learn if you want to put on, as they used to say, remember, put on your thinking cap. If you want to see things in a lens of learning, learning is everywhere. You don't have to just, you know, flip pages. It doesn't have to be like that. So, um, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. So basically, the I, I for one, do not think that I will ever stop learning. It, there may be a person out here. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not judging. But there may be a person out here that's like, okay, once I get here, that's it. I'm. I don't. I don't feel like I need to elevate anymore. That's just not me. But what is stopping you from even starting on that journey of improving yourself? Now, for me, here's what I would say. I oh, follow through. That's what I was going to talk about for me. For me, what I would say is I have a hard time following through. Now, I'm a very determined person. I'm a very focused person. Um, I'm a very like, I'm going to do this type of person. Like those, I have those characteristics in me. However, lately I've been evaluating myself and realizing that I talk a lot as you know, but I talk, no, I talk a lot. I have a lot of great ideas. I have a lot of great to-do lists, but I am having a problem following through. And that's, that's an issue. You know, that's, that's the difference between a talker and a walker, a person that talks, talk, and a person that talks, but begins to walk. You know what I mean? That the person that walks that walk is what they say. And I'm realizing that I've been focused on so much other shit that I have not even been walking the walk as I, um, as I need to walk it, you know, I've been blabbering too much. So for me, that's what I want to focus on this November and take into my new year, my new decade is, um, not only talking, but walking the walk and eliminating any distractions that I feel stop me from walking the walk. You know what I'm saying? There's so many different levels of things that um, we have to go through sometimes. But I would say focus on yourself. Get, become aware. You know, reflect. There are exercises. I, I hope that you guys are purchasing those books. If not, there are TED Talks. There are YouTube. Um, there is YouTube. I'm sorry about that. There are self-improvement books. There are seminars. I just gave a whole list of how you can learn. You can even talk to a person and ask some questions that you think can help you get, excuse me, on a on your journey to becoming the best you that you can be. But you have to be aware and you have to reflect on why first it is that you're not doing it. Because if you cannot pinpoint that, if you cannot accept that, if you cannot Im admit that, then it ain't going to, you know what I mean? Like, no matter what, you're going to constantly be in that tornado. You're going to constantly be in that um hamster. I told babe last night, I was like, you know, I'm really tired of being in this hamster wheel. I kind of feel like I've been in this same um, cloud a few years now. I have moments where I feel like I break through. But again, if I don't stay on that continuing path of following through, I feel like the cloud comes right back. It doesn't have to be a daunting, dark cloud. It's a cloud that I feel like I'm, I have not penetrated through. I have not gotten through yet. And... That to me, you know, it doesn't feel good. You know, no one wants to stay in the same place all the time. So that's why I wanted to come and I wanted to talk about what do you feel keeps you from improving? I know that other than not following through, but for me, that's the biggest one that I can see because I can have the ideas and you know what I mean? So for me, I do really think it's, fo it's following through. It's probably other things, like I said, distraction, but, um, What's stopping you? Because whatever's stopping you, let me tell you something. Once you knock it down, man, ain't nothing else going to step in your way. Whatever is blocking you right now, you have to chop down. You have to get that axe. You have to chop it down. Pop, pop, pop. Chop it down. And um, 
do what you need to do so that when you do look in the mirror, you aren't just looking at your physical appearance. You are looking into your pupils. You are having a soulful moment with yourself staring back at you. And it's okay to feel anxiety. I wasn't saying anxiety as a bad thing because I think anxiety for a lot of us is um, letting us know that we're not doing what we're supposed to do. Honestly. Anxiety is one of two things. You either have anxiety because you know that you're supposed to be doing something and you're not doing it. Or you have anxiety because you just don't know what's to come, right? But there's a way to trip that anxiety and turn it into something good for you. When you have crazy anxiety, get busy. Get busy. You know what I mean? Get that to-do list. Check it off. Do what you got to do. I bet you, I bet you, I bet you, I bet you, your anxiety will cease. The more that you sit there and you keep on thinking about what you need to do or you keep on thinking about what's maybe to come, but you're not actually in the race or you're not actually in that of what's to come, your, your anxiety is going to get worse. Trust me. I know I suffer from really bad anxiety, really, really bad anxiety. I have days where I have this like 10, 50 list of to do things, right? And... I'll sit there all day. We talk. I think we talk about this before. If we haven't, I'll say, sit there all day and I'll procrastinate. I will. I will procrastinate. I'll con con continue to say to myself, Tussie, get up, girl. Get up. You know you got to do this. You know you want to do it. Here come bedtime now, 9 p.m., 10 p.m. And now I have like this burst of, you got to do this before you go to bed. And I've already at that point given myself an anxiety headache. I don't know if any of you guys have ever dealt with that, but that is one of the worst headaches ever. It's like, oh my God, why did I do that to myself when I had all day? Why did I do that to myself when I had all day? I'm sorry. But that's what we do. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end because um, I really can't think of anything else in this present moment to say about it. But I am just encouraging you guys it's a new month it's a new beginning you know new lessons new knowledge new experiences new memories um new growth it's new so do something new this month that you haven't done throughout the entire year of 2019 and see if it promotes you or demotes you but at least try it to see how it makes you feel and if it demotes you then you know you try it differently if it um promotes you then you know you can do that or or add it up a notch but at least at least you tried and you've done something so yeah guys think about why what is keeping you in this stagnant place of not improving yourself um ask yourself do you not feel you deserve it right and um, get that journal. Get that journal man and just start journaling out your feelings. I've noticed that a lot of people that have changed their life one thing that sticks out the most is that they said they just had to get up and start doing it you know this girl shared her little like journal entries I think a year ago I think she said and they were very sad she was like I hate my life right now I don't like it bam 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 now girl, shorty's doing it I didn't mean to say shorty like that I meant to say sis but shorty came out um sis is doing it you know what I mean like she is she's promoting herself she's elevating herself She's improving herself. And she even said under the caption, she was like, the only difference, guys, is that I really just started to focus on myself. I let everything else go. And um, I stopped doing what I thought I needed to do. And I did what I needed to do. That's a big one. We can talk about that later. All right, guys. But I'm really going to close now. So, yeah. Focus on yourself. Happy self-care Saturday. Happy new month of May. I'm oop jesus november um and i hope that you guys have a great day and don't forget to like comment subscribe share this video with anyone and everyone friend family foes enemies um anybody and everybody that you feel just needs to figure out why they're keeping themselves in a stagnant position you know what i say if you're having a bad day take a walk take a sip save get a budget Pack up them bags and take a trip. Do whatever you need to do to make yourself feel good. That's what that's what you have to do. That's what this year is about. Doing for everybody else and constantly always uh, putting yourself on the back burner is the past tense. Okay, that's not what we're doing no more. So that's the tea with me today, guys. And bye.